Charles presides over more barroom frolics with star guests and games galore in Funky Bunker. Another exclusive for you. We've got our head case, that's Abdul, and he's on stage with the blue giant. Give it Whoa! up! to do. Well, just come on down to the bunker. We're gonna funk some blues for you. We got lots of crazy people, like Annie Whip on the bass. We got the boys in black. Hey, they're all over the place. Yeah, if you don't watch your step, though, you're gonna find us first in line. Come on, Craig wants you to have, yeah, a real funky time. got no bread, we'll join the crowd, baby. We're all in the same bed. Yeah, we ain't got nothing to do but funky, honey. Just make sure you're here at 9 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Because if you know how Apple is, we're gonna have you on the spot. Woo-ha, take it, Mr. Otis. This way, Craig's up you down to this funky way. Come on now, funky run. Loads of letters saying, who is the guy in the Fez? Well, he is Abdul Fez. And he used to work on Mad Max. And he used to work on Spitting Image as well. And he used to do yeah, loads of voices for yeah, Spitting Image. American voices for Spitting Come Image. On, yeah, but before we get into that, Craig, I okay. got you some byproduct uh, okay. from our American branch, uh, Camel Dung Twinkies. Camel, camel Dung Twinkies. <laughs> yeah, you know, everybody talks about drugs, but look at all these drugs in here, man. The Dow Chemical <laughs> Company's got a 30-year thousand contract to make these things. I'm not being funny, but I bought a box of Scrabble because it had a load of these in it. <laughs> that's right. That's it. Well, Still can't spell. 
<laughs> well, listen, then, I ate, I ate them all anyway, Craig, don't worry. Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah. anyway, yeah. I'll get so you some the, more, don't so, worry. So, so the voices, so the well, voices. Well, you know, spitting image, I mean, it used to be so great, and, you know, with Reagan and all that stuff, and everybody says, well, you know, Clinton's not exciting anymore and stuff, and somebody asked me, do you do Bill Clinton? I said, well, hell yeah, I do Hillary Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, then do, do, do me an argument or a conversation okay, between Bill and Hill. This is Bill and Hill, Because okay. I'm, you know, this is, that, you know. This is Bill and Hill together, intimate bedroom oh. time. Bill, Bill, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Bill, uh, he looks just like you, Bill, he looks... Oh, hell, Hillary doesn't look anything like me. But he does look like you, Bill, I'm telling you, he looks just <laughs> like you. Oh, hell, he doesn't look nothing like me, Hillary. He's got your smile, Bill, he's got <laughs> your smile. Now, Bill, why are you putting that banana down your pants for? Well, hell, Hillary can't keep it up for 24 hours, goddammit. <laughs> 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 Banana in the pants jokes. <laughs> you came on my show to do that gap. I'm not happy with you, Mr. Fez. But don't you get it? Don't you get not... it? Bill, 24 yeah. hours, you yeah. know, yeah. super stud in the White yeah. House. Yeah. You know, he's yeah. going at it. Yeah. So he, but he can't keep it up 24 hours unless he takes that new drug. But, but Hillary sounded like the grandma out of Beverly Hillbillies as yeah, well. Does, Every time he did it, I, 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 I got transported. But thanks for she, sharing it with us. She's pretty bogus. You, she? you, go, you go away, learn some better jokes. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Hello. Oh my God. Beat me, Hello. beat me, call me Barbara. Oh, can we get a camera shot of this? <laughs> <laughs> ah, what? Can I uh, buy a camel from, uh, well. from you? Oh, baby, you can buy a camel from us, uh, but, well, wait a minute, huh? Is this like Sushi Baywatch now or something? Sushi or, uh, Baywatch. Is that, yeah. uh, there's just something important i got to tell you, though, hon, because uh, I know you haven't got any camel lots back in Japan. Um, <laughs> one hump or two? Oh, oh get him out, oh, ladies and gentlemen! Two, she wants to! She wants to! Oh. <laughs> ladies Thank and you. gentlemen, that was Abdul Fez, all right? Abdul Fez! <laughs> You're with Craig Charles down the Funky Bunker. We've got Abdul, Abdul Fez from MTV. What are you doing oh, down here, mate? Oh, well, Craig, you know, I've got to come down here and tell you about some funky news, well, man. Well, tell me the sure funky cool, news. Man. you got the cash in your hand. <laughs> hey, I'm not buying the news off you, mate. What is oh, it? Well, okay, man, but you might be able to buy a camel because, you know, we've uh, come here to tell you about how to solve all these transportation problems in London. You know, you heard about these people stuck in the Blackwell Tunnel for 18 hours. And, yeah, yeah. Well, we've heard of a whole load of camels out of Hollywood via Morocco on the San Diego Freeway. <laughs> up to 305, take the 605 to Ventura and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, we got swimming camels, man. We don't need the Channel Tunnel anymore. You, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> so what? You brought loads of camels, loads over, of camels here. over here. Yeah. Um, look, and we're opening a camel lot in Soho, London. A camel lot? Yes. And you're going to, like, what, what, hire camels out, like, well, for the day? Well, the problem is we, we've had a lot of demand. You see, leasing in the Soho area due to the clubs is quite extensive. So we've had a lot of, uh, you know, tranny camel train show. Oh, you haven't heard of that one yet? No, no. Oh, okay, well, you know. Talk me through it. Well, you know, it's, 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 it's all those, you know, you heard of all those uh, those sort of shows and stuff, you know, so it's the transvestite, transvestite camel tranny show. You know, it's taken up a lot of the inventory, but, you know, but we're trying yeah. to meet demand, okay? We're trying yeah. to meet demand. Yeah, it's, it's a bit rough. But anyway, camels, uh, yeah, we've, we've got a lot of them, and uh, we think they can solve the transport problem here. Abdul, have you been taking mood altering substances? Uh, no, just this, this is all I need to know. Well, I got I got American uh, Prozac, which is better than the Prozac here. What's the what's Prozac? Prozac. Yeah. Tell the kids, tell the kids what Pro Prozac Pro is. Prozac, legal drugs, amigo. Prozac ski, okay? You heard it here. You heard of uh, Roland, Roland? You know Rawhide? <laughs> Roland, Roland, Roland. And then come on and roll on down to Abdul's Camelot for a few cameras. Anyway, that was Abdul Fez. Yes. You're very popular. Now, uh, with me is Abdul Fez, who I sent along to see uh, Quadrafuna, because I'm too busy. I'm just too busy. I haven't got a social life. I have to send people like this to go and see things I should really be watching myself. What was it like? Well, first, I missed you when you weren't there with me. But uh, <laughs> beyond that, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. A sting kicks some major ass in this film, let me tell you. I mean, honestly, he's got, I mean, he must have gone through about 25 bottles of peroxide to get his hair this blonde. I'm not being funny, but the Vespa, is it a Vespa the, or is this, it a Have you seen that movie Crash where the people get stiffies, you know, and get really, like, hairy and horny, you know, over the cars? You know, like, these people have got major stiffy action. Yeah, stiff, 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 stiff. You know, I mean, they're going mad for the Vespa scene. They're going mad for the Vespa scene? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, the whole audience was out. I mean, it was one of those flagship uh, films of a generation, wasn't yeah, it, really, yeah, Godfrey? I mean, yeah. I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch it all the time, you yeah, know, especially yeah. Leslie Ash. 
in the um, in the alleyway there. Yeah. Uh, you ever Wait see that bit with Leslie Ash in the alleyway? Yeah. Uh, it was a bit sexy, that one. That's good, that's good. You know, is, is that why it got an X-rated? And how did you get your hands on an X-rated film back then? <laughs> no, seriously, it didn't get X-rated, did it? I heard it got it. It was an X-rated movie, but somebody told me that. It's difficult to watch that film, actually, without having your hand down your pants that's in that right. scene. Well, with the Leslie Ash scene, because she's it's like humping in a crayon and a humping in a crayon. Why do you think people are bringing it out again? Humping in a crayon and a humping in a crayon? Because people like to hump and cry, that's why. <laughs> but do you think that's why? I mean, why is it? Why, well, why, well, why in 1997 think, okay. are, are they making, giving us a film that you know portrays the 60s yeah, and yeah. was made in the 70s? Why? Well, it is kind of a funny thing because it was made in 79. Uh, the music from the Who album is in 74, and it's about 1964. So, uh, you know, that's kind of cool in a way. But I think that, uh, I don't know, the guy, the lead, Phil Daniels, he reminds me of the guy in Train Spotting a bit. And you got a lot of blue pills. Okay, now this is before the Colombian tanker pulled into this country, okay? So, but we got blue <laughs> pills instead. Legit. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, that's Abdul Fez. We'll have you back reviewing films because we right. like the look of your hat. All right. Thank Give you. him a drink. Hey, Ms. Right. Give him a drink. Okay. Okay. Ms. Whip. Hey, Abdul. Abdul. Hey, how's it what, going? What, what do you think of this uh, acid house? I mean, well, you know, the you thing the is, well, you know, we got the uh, Camelot in Soho, and uh, we've been getting a real hard time from the criminal justice system too. So, uh, about a little bit of our <laughs> byproduct from the Camelot. Would you like some, Craig? What is it? Camel dung. Ah! Okay. Well, <laughs> Snort I, it. Well, I, I don't snort shit anymore. Acid, you know? acid dung. <laughs> <laughs> Abdul, uh, yeah. you guys might not know this, but you used to be Max Headroom, didn't you? Oh, uh, I used to work with Max Headroom. Well, what was you? Because you was... You we were, were the Fez brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you brought your guitar along this time? Because I want you to sing a song with me, because we're doing our own jingles down at the old... Uh, uh, you know, we're doing our own advertising now, because, uh, well, business is a bit slow, so I thought you could help me out with a bit of... So Camelot's doing its own advertising? Yeah, we're doing our own advertising, and well, we've got a bit of a country song here. Let's so hear thought, the song, then. Go okay, on. can you do it here? Okay, here, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's Abdul Fez! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! All right, now... I'm going to give you the cue for the line, Craig. You do it with me, because I know you've got a good singing what, country what, voice. What is the line? It's, she's a mighty fine line to ride. Go on, then. All right. Yeehaw! 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 She's a mighty fine line to ride. Yeah, I just take the IRS that's where. 24 hours and you're almost there. Well, the northern line is a mighty fine line. She's a mighty fine line to ride. Yeah. Woo Woo She's a mighty fine line to ride. She's a mighty fine line to ride.